Hey guys, welcome back to Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. I'm Shannon, and today on the show, we're taking a look at the Pop Rocks number 137 Rob Zombie vinyl figure. Now, I have been a Rob Zombie fan since my freshman year of high school when I first saw the music video for Dragula, and it just blew my mind. By far, one of my favorite albums from Rob Zombie is Hellbilly Deluxe, followed, of course, by the Sinister Urge. So now this Rob Zombie pop, I've waited a long time for this to come out. I got it a few weeks ago, shortly after it was released, and I have yet to take it out of the package. So let's go ahead and take a look at the box. We have Rob Zombie here on the front uh, with the X on his forehead and his satanic shirt and jacket. Uh, we got the Rob Zombie logo there. There's his head peeking up on top. There he is on the side, his display side, which is how I display him, which you guys know. Then there we have it on the back with an actual picture of Rob Zombie himself in full makeup. So now let's go ahead and take him out of the box and take a look at this pop. So as I said, Rob Zombie is one of my favorite musicians of all time. Loved him in White Zombie. Um, not really fond of his newer stuff. Um, I enjoyed House of a Thousand Corpses and Devil's Rejects. Um, the first Halloween was alright. Uh, the second Halloween, not so much. I've always felt that they should, if they were to reboot the Halloween franchise, what they should do is treat the Rob Zombie films as a based on true events type in movie film series um, <clears throat> because they were good and that way you know um, the Halloween series can pay tribute to Rob Zombie for what he contributed to the franchise here we have Rob and I have to say I am liking this pop he's throwing up the uh, double piece sign there he's wearing his purple jacket purple gothic style jacket with his shredded black jeans and pentacle t-shirt and let's just take a look at all the detail they put into him got the gold buttons on his purple jacket with the black lapels and black cuffs very nice. The cuffs even have gold buttons on it. Um, the jeans. He has a skull patch on that side. And it looks like he may have a knee pad or something. Knee brace maybe. On that side. Nothing on that side. Very nice detail on the belt buckle. And I'm not sure. It looks like he's got chains coming off his belt. Black chains. So maybe. Well. I was going to say maybe that's not a patch. Maybe it's like. Some quarter, sort of jewelry or something coming off the chains. But it does look like the chain. The lower side of the chain is just hanging there. It's not actually going into the skull. And of course, his jeans are stitched up. As you can see, it's got the X stitching there. I'm not sure how well you guys can see that. Very nice detail. And of course, in this pop, Rob's got the shorter hair. He does not have his super long dreadlocks like before. Even though he does still have dreadlocks, they're the shorter style that he wears currently. And it looks like this part of the dreadlocks is a separate piece. His bangs, right along here, looks like they were glued on. Um, I feel like his beard could have been a little bit longer, though. And I love how they did the uh, shadows around his eyes and the red X. I'm thinking, though, they could have probably done it a uh, darker, a deeper color red for the X. And of course his nose, they did include the nose. Uh, usually with Pops, they don't really 
they generally just do like a bump or whatever for the nose. But for Rob, they did a full triangle. Which is very nice. And I love the color contrast in his hair. Uh, got the brown up here. And then a lighter, almost dirty blonde at the tips. Which is how his hair looks in all actuality. I am really enjoying this. Uh, as I said, Rob Zombie is one of my favorite metal musicians. I love all kinds of music. Big fan of metal, rock, soft rock, some pop, country, even the old uh, crooners like uh, Frank Sinatra and Bing Crosby. But Rob Zombie, Metallica, Megadeth, those are some of my favorite music, rock musicians. So when I got a chance and saw him on Amazon, I had to order him. So anyway, there you got, have it guys. The Pop Rocks 137 Rob Zombie vinyl figure. Hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you tune in next time for more videos just like this one. Take care, guys. If you enjoyed that video, make sure you hit the subscribe button right there so you can stay up to date on all things geek culture. Also, go ahead and check out one of these two playlists on the side for more videos just like the one you just watched. I'm Shannon for Comic TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. Take care, geeks.